Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda. The channel name is Alba Stitcher. You can also find me on Instagram with the same uh, name, Alba Stitcher. Uh, hello, how is everyone doing? Uh, today is Saturday the 20th of March. Um, this is flush tube number 10 for me. Um, I hope everyone is doing okay. This is a channel about cross stitch. I show uh, projects that I'm working on, um, any finishes that I may have and any haul that I've purchased in the last couple of weeks. Um, if you are returning to my channel then thank you very much for following me. Um, I really appreciate all the subscribers I have, um, all the comments and likes, it's all, um, it's very nice to see. Um, and if you're new here, I hope you like what you see and um, you stick around. Um, um, in the comment box is my email address if anybody wants to, to email me or want to leave a, a, a comment, it's also fine, it's no problem. I try and reply to every comment that I get. So how's everyone doing? Um, here in Scotland, it is still lockdown life. Um, they are saying that we will start to see some things opening up. Um, it should be around the beginning of April for hairdressers. Oh, I am so happy. Um, so I'll eventually manage to get this all fixed, which is good. Um, and then other, I think, non-priority shops will open after that. Um, with I I believe the twenty sixth of April was mentioned for for a lot of other um, places. Um, in terms of vaccine, the vaccine program seems to be in full swing here um, in the UK and in Scotland. And it was just announced today that over half of the population, the adult population, have now received their vaccine, at least one dose. So so that's good news. However, it's not all good news because we all know that there's um, still a lot of problems with COVID. Um, so we're not out of the woods yet. So still locked down, working from home, not really getting out. Um, yeah, that's what it is. Um, in terms of the last two weeks, I've had quite a good stitchy uh, two weeks. So what I've got to show you is I have three finishes. So three finished pieces, two of which were new starts. I also have another new start and a whip. So I have I have been stitching um, a fair bit. I also have some haul to show you. And I have my mania plans organised. So I'll talk about them as well. Um, so let's get started. Let's talk about finishes because that's always good. If you bear with me while I find my board, it's just here. Okay, so the last time I filmed, I did show this as a whip. And this is my With Thy Needle and Thread, and it's the Easter Peep one. So here we go. And this is it here. And that's probably about accurate in terms of the colour of the fabric and the threads. I did sub out the called for thread on the chick and that's Weeks Dye Works Sally Sunshine. Sally Sunshine it is. All other um, threads that I used are the called for. So they were all DMC and this is a piece of chromatic alchemy. I think it's called Kolga, K-O-L-G-A, um, which I just chose. I had it in my stash. It's a 32 count. So yeah, that finish. And is he not super cute? Um, I think the over dyed thread came out really well. I wasn't too sure when I first um, chose it. If you remember, I had, I was in two minds whether to use this one or to use um, banana pudding, I think was the other one I had. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love them. The chart has now been passed on to someone else. So, um, Audrey, I know you've already received the chart and you've started stitching them. So can't wait to see your progress on them. So, yeah, that I finished him um, just not, not long after my, my last video. And he's super cute. He'll not be finished, obviously, for this Easter. But by the time next Easter comes around, when I'll be back in my own house, he'll be certainly out for display. So yeah, 
Easter peeps by with thy needle and thread. A lovely stitch. I really enjoyed stitching him. Um, the next thing that I worked on and finished was my March stocking. Um, if you've been watching me for uh, a few episodes, you'll know that I decided to stitch a stocking each month um, from the Blackbird Design uh, monthly stocking uh, patterns. Uh, I had them all. So every month I just choose one, stitch it up. I've already had a couple of finishes on them and uh, a couple of FFOs. And I'm doing this as a part of a stitch along with Shelley. Um, you may know Shelley. I'll link her Floss Tube channel below. Um, key X Stitch. And we're using a couple of hashtags. The first one is um, hashtag BBD Stocking Sal. So Blackbird Design Stocking Sal. And the second one is hashtag next BBD Sal. Because we're always doing some sort of Blackbird uh, Sal. Somewhere, someone always one running. So this was what I chose for my March stocking. So I just, the colour, that's probably quite accurate. Um, if you remember in my last video, uh, Kay, uh, Dragon Mum of Two on Instagram had sent me a couple of uh, threads, Classic Colour Works threads, and those were the ones that I chose to do in the stocking. You're actually, you're not seeing it so well. Um, that's maybe accurate. This is a 30 count, yeah, 30 count permanent undyed um, linen that I stitched it on. And I used the, I think one's called Silver Spruce and one's called Blue Spruce. I think that was the two colours that I chose. But yeah, I, I really like how it turned out. Um, yeah, that's probably about accurate. It's the Quaker Fragments one on the March stocking book. So yeah, I finished that. And then I wanted to do something for someone who was very kind to me when I returned to Scotland um, at the end of last year. And this person is really fond of poppies. And I happened to be looking through the Blackbird stocking books just in general to see what was happening in the next few months. And I saw this design and so I decided to stitch it. But this is not for me. It's not part of my sal. It will be a gift. And here it is here. Those colours are a bit, they're not as bright as that. They're slightly more muted. Now, the colour palette on this one, I think, is perfect. Um, so this is from the August um, stocking book. Um, it's the poppy. You can see it there. It's the all the calls for threads. And for me, when I was stitching this one, um, it just it just demonstrated to me how wonderful uh, Blackbird Design uh, charts are. Their colour selection and just how this one turned out is is great. And I don't actually think the camera is doing it justice. Um, I think in reality, um, I think actually in reality, it's far more. Um, it's far more muted and, and delicate, um, but it is all the call for threads. And this fabric is a 30 count permanent antique lamb's wool. I'm sure that's what it is. So yeah, I finished another stocking and there is a strong possibility that this will be the stocking that I do for myself come August um, because I loved it so much. So yeah, that was another finish. And at the moment, I think is my favourite finish of the year. Um, so yeah, so they were my three finishes um, in the last two weeks, which is um, quite unusual. It's quite a lot for me. But I also did work on some whips and I had a new start. So let me talk about my whips. The first one I want to talk about is this one here. And you may remember that I said, oh, I'll have this finished, blah, blah. It's not finished. Okay, so this is... Kathy Barrick birth study. Let me just move my Q snap cover a little bit so you can see the corners. Um, I'm almost there. <laughs> almost. This is it. If you see, I am now at the point where I'm on the bottom egg. And then actually from that point, I only need to do the speckles on the egg. I need to do the numbers. There's little numbers, one, two, three, four, and the headdress of this bird here. 
but I'm almost there. Um, I haven't worked on it much, but my plan will be to stick with it over over the next few days to try and get it finished. Um, this is a wonderful uh, chart, wonderful uh, pattern. That's it there. Um, by Kathy Barrick, if you can see it. So I am getting there. It's all the called for DMC threads. And the fabric that I chose was Seraphim, Seraphim Bees Knees fabric. Um, I think it's 32. It might be 28. I know I'm sure it's 32 count. And there you go. So I'm so close. Ooh, I still have a bit to do. So I don't want to get too excited because then I'll leave it and I'll not finish it. But I want to try and keep on with this one to try and get that finished for you. So Bird Study by Kathy Barrick. It's a great stitch. So I worked on that a little bit in the last two weeks. Um, and then finally, in terms of stitching, I had a new start. Um, my new start is one that I purchased a little while ago. I'll show you the chart. I'll, sorry, I'll show you the picture first of all. Um, I started, I, I picked it up, but I hadn't started it. My goodness, words are difficult today. And it's this one here. And the one that I'm doing is this pillow, okay? So it's Heartstring Samplers, and it's actually Farm and Folk uh, Penny Cushions. And again, if you've been with me for a little while, you know that I love a penny border. Um, so I saw this, I bought it, I then slowly but surely picked up all the threads um, and then I decided to have a, a star at it. Um, it's actually in the chart, in the packet is called uh, Folk Bouquet, the one that I chose and here it is here. So let me see if I can show you this. And that is probably pretty accurate for the uh, colours. Um, stitching this with all the call for threads, um, which I believe are all weeks. I have them here, I shall show you. Uh, yep, they all look like weeks to me. Okay, uh, here are the threads. And as I say many times before, I am no Nicole's needlework, but yeah, that's my threads. And the fabric that I chose was 32 count Sparkly's Dr. Smith's Tonic, which is a fabric I've, I've stitched a couple of things on. Um, but yeah, I, I think it suits this one. I was going to take a darker fabric at one point, but then I thought this one might make it pop a bit, a little bit, the colours, because the colours are pretty fabulous. So yeah, that I stitched on that. I started that one. I'm hoping that I'll be able to have that one finished um, in the next few weeks, which I say all the time. But here's hoping that I managed to get some finished. And that's been all what I've stitched on. So the three finishes, a couple of projects in progress or pips. Um, that's all I've stitched on in the last two weeks. Um, so I think now maybe I want to move on. Oh, here it is here. I am semi-organised. I have notes, but yeah. And it's now time for haul. Now, I have a couple of um, pre-orders for uh, charts from uh, Needlework Expo. At the moment, I'm still waiting for most of them to come in, but if I get any in, I'll certainly share them. But I do have some other things that I've purchased in the last two weeks, or um, I've managed to get a hold of the, the, th the threads or the fabric. So let me go through them first of all. The first one that I purchased, I'll take them out only so you can see it a bit clearer. There is quite a lot of glare, I see, from the light is this one here and this is by Plum Street Samplers. Okay. Oh, it's even worse that glare there. And that's called So Sisters. Okay, and then maybe you can see clearer that way. 
and I managed, and I'm not quite sure how I'd managed to do it, but I managed to get all the threads. Which, it seems to be a bit like Russian roulette in a, I don't even think there is a good way of playing Russian roulette, but it's a bit like Russian roulette. You never know. Sometimes you go to an online shop and they have nothing. And then literally maybe two days or three days later, you're back looking for something else and they have the threads. So it can be a bit of a hit or a miss when you're trying to get, for me anyway, here in the UK, trying to get threads. So yeah, this this one I managed to, to kit up. And the second one which I am desperate to start, but I am resisting the temptation, is this one here. It is another plum street. It's better if I do it like that, then you can see it. And that's Harvest Keeper. Now, I think Audrey, Stitchy Witch 42 is working on this. Hi, Audrey. Um, and she was the one that inspired me to get it. So I managed to get that. And then I also managed to get all the threads. I'm sorry, this is not organised at all. Let me see. Obviously, this is <laughs> these threads have only just come in. I've managed to push them all in to uh, the chart. So there you go. And anyone who knows me, I kind of like... I like autumn colours. I definitely like autumn colours. So I do have a lot of autumnal projects um so yeah that was that one and then the final chart that i've managed to get a hold of in the last two weeks and kit it up and i bought this from the second hand or the secondary market um it was either off stash and load or ebay was this chart here scarlet house samplers and i was very tempted to start this the other night but i uh, i was strong I hung back and you can see because I have already on the ring <laughs> all the threads um, I managed to kit this one up with most of the threads from my stash I think there was only a couple of threads I had to try and get a hold of so that was that was good um, so yeah they were my three I think my three main kind of activities to do with the uh, haul Except for one thing that I managed to score off eBay. I know, hard to believe after my last uh, video, getting the Long Dog Sampler book, but then I managed to score one of these. Now, I don't know, I, I am not sure um, how easy or difficult it is to get a hold of this book. I did message someone in the US, a woman who was selling it on it wasn't Stash Unload, but it was a cross-stitch site um, for selling. And she wanted um, $70 for it, plus plus shipping, um, which I passed on. I have a kind of inner ceiling of what I'll, I'll buy um, or what I'll pay for, for something that's um, out of print. Then someone else was selling it on eBay at a kind of buy-me-now price. And that was also, for me, just a little bit too high. And then, and then last Sunday, I got a notification from eBay that there was a shop, a bookshop um, in the UK selling it for, for a very reasonable price. Um, so I had to have it. And the thing about this book is that I'd only ever seen one project stitched from it. And it was this one at the back that someone had stitched. But since I've got the book, I want to stitch it all. I mean, there, there is nothing in here that I don't want to stitch. Even just like these really little cute, um, you know, it, it, it's a fabulous book. I'll do a flip, if anybody wants a flip through, I'll do a flip through. And for those of you who watched the flip through of um, the Long Dog Sampler book, thanks. I, I wasn't quite, I wasn't 100% sure that the setup was very good but it's a little bit of trial and error with me to see what is work what will work and what is clear for you so actually I don't take offense if you say to me oh it was too far away you need to be closer or and some people did uh, message me and ask me specific um 
uh, it was either sizes or, or or things to do with the charts which was fine but it's all just trial and error for me so yeah this this what is what I think was maybe my um, biggest score in the last two weeks which I was really pleased about I do still have unicorns left that I'm chasing but um, this was a good this was a good find for me and the, the price was great so yeah I don't have any fabric this week I haven't managed to score anything anyone who follows um, the wee linen company will know that they made an announcement at the end of February to say that they were having problems getting their fabric fabric supplies so there was be a delay and so far there's been no further announcement as to um, when we can order so we just need to sit tight for that one but I also wanted to share with you my mania plans now the first thing I want to say is I have never ever done mania before um, but this year I had it in my head that I wanted to try and do some sort of blackbird mania and if you watch Brenda and Laura from Brenda and the Serial Starter they are planning to do some sort of um, weekend blackbird at the start of every month so maybe my mania plans will tie in a little bit with their um, hashtag but I wanted to do some sort of blackbird uh, mania purely and simply because of the volume of blackbird charts that I have um, and if I never start them then I will never get them finished um, not that I want to start 31 starts, 21 starts, 50. I don't want to do volume. I would rather do a small number so that I at least start and get the the um, the chart started and then maybe I can start and pick it up and get it finished. So a lot of humming and hawing in my head. I was going to do the the ones, the mystery um, chart series that they did for the Beatles, which had the yellow submarine um and the octopus in the garden and i was going to do that one i have that already uh kitted up but then i changed my mind and i decided well i'll show you what i've decided to do um why i'm telling you so early i thought it would be a good idea first of all in case anyone wanted to join me i would really appreciate that i don't have any local stitchers to me it is literally a very solitary uh, hobby for me so it would always be nice if people would like to stitch along. I've really enjoyed stitching with Shelley doing the, the stockings. Um, that's been great. So I thought if I announced it early enough, it would give people either a chance to think maybe they will do one with me. Um, also for them to maybe organise if they needed the char or any of the threads. Um, that might be quite good. So there are actually five weeks in May the way it runs but I will only have four starts and my plan is to start them um, on the weekend so either on the Saturday or the Sunday I will make a new start for um, Mania. I will I think plan to stitch most of the week on that chart that's what my plan will be so I have four charts all kitted up I will choose one um, each of the weekends and stitch on that chart for the whole week. That's my plan. So let me show you. The series that I decided to go with is the Christmas series. And of course I pick up number two first instead of picking up number one first. And here we go. So as you know, we have four charts in the Blackbird Design Christmas series and there is number one and that's the first one I want to start with which is Merry Christmas it's um, been stitched there's lots of people who have stitched it finished it um, but I want to, to start this one I have all the threads I've managed to purchase all them and the fabric that I have chosen to stitch this one on is Fabric on a Whim. That's what it is. I just had to think there of the, the dyer. Fabric on a, on a Whim and I'm doing it on 32 count French roast. And here this is what it looks like. The fabric's a little bit darker than that. Mm. 
yeah. So yeah, I think that's going to look good. I'm pretty pleased with that as a choice. A um, couple of weekends ago, I went through my fabric stash to see what I had. None of these charts are huge, so I didn't need to get um, look for my really large pieces of um, fabric. So yeah, that's my first one. Okay, so that's Merry Christmas, number one. Number two is the Felice Navidad. And again, there's been quite a few people have stitched this one. Here is the chart. So you might be familiar with this one as well. And the I've got the called for fabrics. Eh, sorry, called for threads. Which are these? And this is also oh no, this is an R and R. I'm thinking now the other ones may be an R and R, and it's not a fabric on a womb. Let me check that. <laughs> and this is an R and R, and it's beach brew. And that's probably pretty accurate. So that has been my choice for Felice Navidad, and that's it there. Can I just check number one? Because I think I told you it was fibre on a whim and it's not. I'm sure it's R&R. &R. Yeah. <laughs> and it even says it on it. So it's R&R &R French roast. So that's the first two. And then we have number three, which is here. And number three is bringing good cheer and someone just finished this quite recently on instagram that i saw and i'm in love i'm in love with the reds and i have the cold for threads here they are here on cold for and the fabric that i chose this time it's not an r and r this is Seraphim and it's Dusty Road. So Seraphim, Dusty Road for this one and oops. That's a charm. And finally for number four so for my fourth week in mania it's the most recent release in the christmas series and it's this one here and i think this was the one that motivated me to choose um the christmas series and it's this one here christmas rose and again it's not a huge chart i managed to get all the Called for threads. It's called for threads. Great. And the fabric that I chose is another seraphim. And this one is Thebes. And here you go. That's the fabric and threads. So that was my choice for Christmas Rose. I think for me, Christmas Rose was the one that I thought I wanted to start. And then I felt unsure if I wanted to start it without, well, I don't know. I just, I wanted to start all of them. Um, I am not sure I will keep the kind of Merry Christmas in all of them because I'm thinking when I get them framed, I would want to keep them up all year round. Um, so there's a there's a chance that there might be some recharting here and there um, within this. But that's really what I want to do for Mania. So four Blackbird uh, charts. They're all Christmas and I'll start one each weekend of May. Um, 
I'm not sure of my hashtag yet. I'm thinking probably something like Blackbird Design, so BBD Christmas Mania. Um, that's what I'm thinking. I would love it if somebody, anyone would like to join in either with one of these or with all of them, but it would be nice for somebody to keep me company. Um, I also understand that Mania can be a time when we all see it that we can do what we want. So I will not be upset if I'm a lone soldier in it. It's fine. I can do that. It's no problem. Um, but yeah, that's my that's my mania plans. Um, I, I would love to just tell you that I'm going to start 21 charts and I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. All that would lead to me having is a box full of projects not finished. Um, but I do think that if I start four and these are not huge charts that I will actually have a sense or a likelihood that I will finish them possibly maybe not all this year but possibly one this year and maybe some next year but it would at least get me on the road for them I love all the designs they're not huge I, in my head I have them that I would get them all framed and put together um in my, my main living room so this is already kind of I have a motivation there to have them finished so yeah that's my mania start uh, or my mania plans sorry um the other thing that I would like to talk about quickly is just some things to do with um my plans and I've got one piece of haul that's not really stitchy related but I'm aware that maybe some people might be interested in it. So I'll keep that to the very end um, so that I can show it. And if people are not interested, then they can sign off. So plans. My plan will be to obviously work on bird study because I'm close to a finish. Um, to keep going on folk bouquet um, from Heartstrings. And also to pick up my Scarlet House um, morning walk. It's it's a fair way. It's, it's probably about 70%. 65-70% done so I would really like to pick that one up and try and get some more um, stitches in it um, I also wanted to mention that if you follow me on Instagram every morning um, I post always every morning without fail this year anyway I have all I always post a positive thought for for myself mainly but I would want to share that with other people. So if you follow me on Instagram every day, if you check just my stories, I normally only post one. I don't normally post like plenty. It's just normally the one in the morning. Occasionally there's one later on if something happens that's funny. or. But they are, they are just like a positive affirmation. Some of them are very serious and thought provoking. Some of them are quite funny. Um, but yeah, please follow me there so that you can you can see that. Um, particularly if every day can be a struggle for people, then um, it's just to let you know someone's out there and thinking about you and sending out positive vibes. Um, so yeah, that that's really all I, I want to mention, except for this final piece of haul that I've got. So if you're not interested in a kind of non-stitchy uh, related haul, thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoy it. I, I'm more than welcome to any comments or feedback. Um, so yeah, stay safe and happy stitching and I'll see you next time. So for those of you that have stuck around, thank you. I have something that's non-stitchy related haul. And what happened was a couple of weeks ago, there was a Facebook online creative market that I was quite interested in. And I think what happens is a number of vendors come forward and they show what they make. It's all handmade. And this one woman in particular, her goods, they really appealed to me. And the company's actually called Little Peggy Humbugs. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, yeah, that's pretty clear. Little, Little Peggy Humbugs. She's based in the UK. And I had never seen anything like this before. And my plan, well, I just, I spoke to her and we, I talked a little bit about what she does etc etc but let me show you what she makes now this will not be to everyone's cup of tea but i will show it anyway so this is what she makes okay and that's really the color's not good yeah that's bitter so what she makes are these tiny little peg dolls they're not actually peg dolls because i think it's only the head but she uses dmc floss for the hair which you can see 
and then she has a whole lot of different designs. And the plan for me is that I will purchase a couple more. Um, this one was particularly for autumn and it was to sit in the display. I have a uh, a display which is wooden and it's like just like a, tea, a, a cake tray with the two levels. And I just wanted to sit her between all, um, you know, the pillows that I have for um, autumn. So that's the autumn one that I purchased. I think, considering it's handmade, I have no problem. The prices were very reasonable. Um, it was delivered. She made it to order. Um, and I, I just kind of loved it. So I will link her Instagram below if anyone is interested. There's, I just wanted to share what I had purchased. I've got my eye on do oh, on purchasing a couple more that I quite liked, um, but it is purely for display purposes for showing the uh, stitching that I've got. So yeah, so as I say, the company is called Little Peggy Humbugs, in case anyone is interested. And that's all. That's all I have. So I hope you're all fine and well. Thank you for watching. Thank you for commenting and subscribing. It's truly appreciated. And I hope you all stay safe and have a good stitching uh, couple of weeks. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye.